In this video, we'll take a look at an approach for determining the molar enthalpy of reaction for this reaction. Let's start by looking at the formation of nitrogen dioxide from elements in their standard states. Here's a container filled with 0.5 moles of nitrogen and 1 mole of oxygen gas. At SATP, both of these are gases. That is their standard state. And although they are diatomics, this is the standard elemental form of nitrogen and oxygen. As the reaction takes place, the container gets cold. What is true about this reaction? This is an endothermic reaction, and delta H is positive. It's actually positive 33.2 kilojoules per mole. This enthalpy is called the molar enthalpy of formation of nitrogen dioxide, the amount of energy change of reaction associated with making exactly one mole of the substance, in this case nitrogen dioxide, from elements. Since both of the reactants are elements, nitrogen and oxygen, and the product is a single nitrogen dioxide, the delta H for this reaction is the delta H of formation of nitrogen dioxide. What is true about the delta H of reaction for this reaction? We know that when you double the reactants and products, the delta H for the reaction is doubled as well. This is Hess's law. That means that the delta H for this reaction is two times the delta H formation of nitrogen dioxide, which is 66.4 kilojoules per mole. Let's consider another container, also filled with nitrogen and oxygen. This time it's filled with one mole of nitrogen and one mole of oxygen, and the products made are two moles of nitric oxide. When the reaction takes place, 182.6 kilojoules of energy are absorbed from the surroundings. What is the value of the delta H of reaction? The heat of the reaction QP is 182.6 kilojoules, and there is one mole of reaction taking place, so the delta H of reaction is 182.6 in kilojoules per mole. What is the relationship between the delta H of reaction and the delta H of formation of nitric oxide? The reaction starts with elements, but we are making two nitric oxide products in the course of the reaction. That means that the molar enthalpy change of this reaction is twice the enthalpy of formation of nitric oxide. Let's consider one last container. It contains some nitric oxide and some oxygen. When they react, the product of the reaction is nitrogen dioxide. What is the delta H of reaction for this reaction? Notice that the reactants are not just elements. There is nitric oxide as well. There is a straightforward way, however, to calculate the molar enthalpy of this reaction. We can combine what we learned about these two reactions. We start by reversing the second reaction. Notice that the reversed reaction has the same magnitude enthalpy change, but the opposite sign, as we expect. Adding these two reactions together, we get this. Notice that the nitrogens on both sides cancel out, as does one of the oxygen molecules, which leaves us with the reaction we're interested in. Since we added the two reactions, the overall enthalpy change of the reaction is the sum of the two. In general, this is always the case for any reaction. If you add up all of the enthalpies of formation of the products, and then subtract all of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants, you will get the overall enthalpy change of the reaction. What do you predict the enthalpy change of the overall reaction to be? As we said, adding up all of the enthalpies of formation of the products and subtracting all of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants gives us the overall enthalpy change of the reaction. So for this reaction, to calculate the delta H of reaction, we will take the enthalpy of formation of the products, 66.4 kilojoules per mole, and subtract the enthalpy of formation of the reactants. 182.6 kilojoules per mole, to get an overall enthalpy change of the reaction of negative 116.2 kilojoules per mole. One note before we conclude. Notice that there is no term in the equation for the enthalpy of formation of oxygen. When elements are found in their standard states, like nitrogen and oxygen, their enthalpy of formation is zero kilojoules per mole. This is because there is no reaction to form the element's natural state. It simply exists like this.